What's up guys? How's everybody doing? Um, thought I'd get a video out um, and show you a few things I've been working on. It's been a while since I've uh, got to do one and I figured I'd uh, try to share one or share some things. Um, uh, it's probably be a long video. I mean, it's not going to be real long because I can't make it no longer than 10 minutes, but um, I don't know. Just uh, show you guys a few things. First, this, uh, the, uh, concrete, uh, gravel pit, whatever you want to call it. Um, I made it bigger, a little bit bigger, the actual pit part, and then I picked up these, the rest of this Bachman kit, which is this thing, the little conveyor belt, uh, this conveyor piece, and that, and then I already had that and that piece of it there. And uh, those are made by Bachman. They're like, um, it's like a tin can. They're really neat. You can paint them, you know, do whatever. That's how they come out of the box, though. Um, but they're really cool. And I kind of made this little fence thing around it out of uh, these little, uh, they're kind of like straws, but they're a little bit harder. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think uh, those glow sticks. Then Yeah, those glow sticks come in them. And then I took like piano wire and just kind of made a little fence type deal around it just to add some detail to it. Um, get another shot of it over here. Eh, it's just, you know, another little place to have on the layout. Um, see, I picked up this little concrete truck today, actually. It's a little Athern. Uh, it's a Mac B series truck. It's pretty cool. It's kind of an older body style uh, truck, but that it work. I model the '80s. Uh, um, I don't know. I should have bought. I wish now I'd have bought the other one because after I opened it, it's really neat. Because like the little chute, it moves around, and it's got like a little ladder over here that like folds up and down. That's a pretty neat little truck. Um, and then, also, I've picked up, uh, not recently, over the past, like, few months, uh, my, the hobby shop I normally go to, he, uh, has a bunch of, like, Atlas Master Series, but it's, uh, he's had them for quite a few years, and he had a huge, uh, clearance sale on them. So, I bought a few of them over time. Um, this Atlas, uh, GP40-2, it's an X reading, or reading model. That's why it's got the small fuel tank. I weathered it. Um, I added uh, the cab signal box, ice skate antenna, and these uh, later style uh, couple of cut bars. And a few more things I'll probably probably do to it. This is just a little diorama thing I made a while back just to set stuff on. Um, I, that one... This uh, Chessy uh, U30B GE, uh, I got that. It's an Atlas Master. None of these have sound because they would have come with QSI, and QSI is horrible. And why don't I mute these locomotives real quick? Um, one second. Mute. And mute. Sorry about that. And the last one I picked up... Oh, let me grab it out of there. Well, it's hooked. Oh, gosh. Um, another Atlas Master, uh, Western Maryland. It's an SD35. And I really love these SD35s. I've, uh... Oh, that's dark. Um, I've been looking for one for a while, and I just happened to find it buried in the back down there. And, uh, he had these things marked, like, literally 50% off. So, every couple weeks or so, I'd stop in and pick one up. So, I think that was three. Yeah, I think I picked three of them up. And the other thing is, well, right here. I can't remember if I... I don't think... I, I've had this a few months, so I don't know if I had this in the last video. Um, I got me a new DCC uh, system. NCE Power Cab. I love it. It's great. I had an MRC Prodigy... Express, I think it was, and it was all right just to start out with, but 
it was it was starting to act up and i actually got this for cheaper than what i paid for the uh crappier mrc one three years ago so i couldn't like it was just you know and it is awesome it does so much so much more um if any of you guys know or have you know have one or something like it there's the box it come with the uh, extra for an extra controller or cab uh, the plug-in for the other the other cab um that i also picked up some intermodal stuff a couple more trailers and a couple uh intermodal cars all aethern um hold on a second and i will see 85 foot flat car that's a cno and this one's a western maryland um try to get in i really like uh like i know the chessy used to run they called them trailer jets and they had there was a whole train of these and i'd like to over time you know have a, a train a whole train of them would be really cool so definitely going to take me some time to do that because you know they're not cheap but Eventually, yeah, that, I think I'd be really awesome to have one of those on my little layout here. Uh, this is all. I don't think I've really changed much over here. Try to get another look. Um, the engine facility, it's just sitting there. It's not attached or anything. I'm waiting to get this uh, wa other Wathers uh, kit that hooks with this fueling pad. It's a sanding sanding kit. It's like sanding tower and all that stuff. So I'm waiting to get that. Which that actually used to set over there. I took it out. Because this piece of the layout is really wide. And I'm almost six foot tall. And even I have a hard time trying to like reach all the way back there. And I got a little stool that I use. So I decided I'm going to move the engine facility over here. And then I'll tie it into the layout whenever I get that kit, which will be sometime. But, I think that's about it. Uh, I'll try to get a train running here in just a second. And I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, comment and subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.